What are you up to, Mark? I've come to Bullets Flat to change his cassette and his chain and a gear cable on his wire. Wahoo Wahoo kicker. Oh, Look no. at this, I'm going to scare him. Hey! Getting seasick. This is like going back up Luckwell Bridge again. <laughs> and there's Bullet! There Hello! Is. Describe! So, uh, I'm, first of all, I'm putting on my uh, my latex gloves because... Uh, hey, Bullet, you like them? Yeah. <laughs> Inspection time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to change the cassette and chain. Uh, they have quite a bit of wear and tear. Actually, I'm going to measure the wear. So this is my trusty park tool chain wear indicator, 0.5. So we're going to drop it in there and see what it looks like. Well and truly gone. That's closer to 0.75 actually. Your performance is, although it's going to be usable, your performance is going to dip considerably. So the gear shift isn't going to be as crisp. It's going to be noisier. Still a huge amount of wattage going through there. A lot of gear shifts, salt dripping down off of, uh, off of your sweat and everything. So, right, so first step, we need to remove the chain. We've got some chain link pliers here. X tools, nice cheap ones. These actually, they're flimsy. We pop that in either side of the quick link. Like so, Which and then bike is this? this is the bullet. But I bow! So there we go. Press that together and it separates the quick links. Find out in a future video. Find out in a future <laughs> video how to get off without one of those or without a quick link. So take the chain off. That's going to be good for the scrap metal, which I've done. We need to lift the bike off of there. Removing a cassette from a turbo is essentially the same from a normal wheel. Uh, so you need a chain whip and a tool. So that's a hyperglide tool. I will do it from the uh, other side because you can get full torque. So you can put the chain whip on there like that. Tool in there and then push down. There you go, nice and easy. Spin the lock ring off. Come off your bugger. There you go. That's that. There we go. You notice, because this is a 10 speed, there's a spacer on the back, because this will do 11 as well. So if you fit an 11 speed, you take the spacer off. With 10 speed, the spacer stays on. So cassette back on. Uh, this one's a 10 speed Tiagra in, uh, I think it's 1225. Looks like a 25, so this is perfect for a turbo trainer. Um, so we just need to line that larger section up there with the corresponding bit on there. Remember to keep your spacer on, it's 10 speed. Slides on like that. Those are all in one lump, and then the bottom three are separate. Don't ask me why. Right, that's that. Oh, hang on. No, it's not that. Right, lock ring on. Uh, tool. I'm not calling you a tool then, by the way. Right, what you might have to do with this is put the chain whip on to stop it spinning whilst we do up the lock ring. You don't normally have to do this with a, a wheel because you can hold the wheel. What talk's that? FT. What's FT talk? FT. Full, full talk. Effing tight. <laughs> I think it's about 40 newton meters or something like that. It's a lot. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, Sounds nice. Hang on. Ready? Wahoo. Free hub sound check. Bike's back on. Yep, so that's one of the advantages of a direct uh, drive turbo is that it's pretty straightforward to put on. And now this can stay on here until we've worn it out again. <laughs> yeah, I'll put you on for three a year time. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were pausing your Zwift. Oh, smell that. New you chain. For that. Oh, what does it smell like? I don't know, just a new chain. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? A sight to behold. It's quite nice actually. Actually, it looks really nice. nice almost looks almost sort of artistic, shimmering. Almost the same colour as your rubber bike. Anyway, ready? Yep. Steady. Did you see that? The skills. Chain wet. Absolutely. Oh, I'll tell you what I forgot is my little park tool pick, which I <laughs> use, which I used to guide the magnetic bit. I used to guide through here, but there we go. Never mind. Neck first. Start again. Yep. So I always thread the chain from the front neck first over there, like so and then down around the smallest sprocket. Oh, hang on, a bit stuck in here. That doesn't help, does it? Right, ignore all that. So we threaded it through the front neck, along here, around this sprocket. Now we need to thread it. Just make sure that you go around the inside of that little lug there on the mech, because if you go the other side of it, it will rub and make a lot of noise. It does work, it just will just saw through your neck <laughs> over a period of time. 
what we're going to have to do is take some links of chain out. Okay. So what I do is have it on the, um, not everyone does it this way, but I put it on the little ring and the little sprocket on the back. Now this one's got a long cage rear derailleur, so it will cope with the wider range. But what we need to do is take the tension up on the derailleur so that the bottom of the chain is not touching the derailleur there. So it needs to be enough tension just to take up that slack. So I reckon we're going to have to take out there. Right, because we've got a joining pin and not a quick link, we have to have opposite ends on here, so a male and a female end. So we need the chain chain tool. And we need to drive this link or the pin right through. Like so this is my Pedro's tool. I've got Stan's gloves and Pedro's tool. Right, that's that. So we can take that off. That's in the bin. And we can take this out. So this is designed to push in with this, and then that snaps off afterwards. This oh, is... hold on. Ah, oh, it was like it was meant to be. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, sushi. Sushi. The sushi. Pit. Yeah. Are you actually going to use it? I'm going to use it, yeah. Can I get the sushi, Nathan? Look at that, I was almost but like I found a new use for it. <laughs> Bullets had wasabi before. Has he? Wow. Right, there we go. So this lovely little tool here takes out the slack. What a coincidence. You'd have thought you could uh, I thought have so one. many uses. I've always got one on me. You never know when you need to go viral. Absolutely. All right, there we go. Now we can drive this pin through. So, I'm guessing this chain must have been old stock because uh, they don't tend to come with the pin anymore. Doesn't matter though, as long as we join it. Right, so what we do with this is we push it through until it's flush on this side, like that. A little bit further. Got to be careful not to go too far with it. That's why a quick link is a lot easier. Right, now we need to snap that back off, so we need a pair of pliers for that. Go underneath. And we go like that. That's it, broken off. Now there might be a little bit of stiffness in that link, so we can work that out by take that off. We just ever so slightly just that's it, it's gone there. Just pushed it between my thumbs there, and that will just give it a little bit of a bit of freedom. That's it. Now we need to do the cable. You filming it? Cool. Snip the cable and pull it out. Luckily this is external, so it's nice and easy to get to. Like so, now we need to get it out of the lever. So, 